know, if you if you want to throw uh, throw metrics around, if there's still uh, a lot of unrealized value, uh, it should be acquisition. And if there's not a lot of uh, unrealized value in the company, it should be retention. Retention all about keeping users excited about using your product day in day out versus attracting new ones. And again, this is where company strategy, product vision, product strategy all come together. Is it about making sure that people sign a contract, maybe log in once and then leave it at that? Or is it about primarily locking them in, exciting them to be using your product? And in the end, are they able to solve their immediate problem with your product? Because that's where value is. Focusing on retention, making sure that they get that value out of, out of it uh, today, tomorrow and the future will make sure in the end, that as a customer as a whole, the entire customer organization meets the right goals. I think it depends really where you are in your product life cycle. If you're right at the beginning and if you have one customer on your platform, for instance, and you want to get more customers, then acquisition is certainly something you should be focusing on. As you mature, then that will probably switch more towards retention to make sure that you're continuing to solve the, the right problems. In the end, you don't create a product in a vacuum. People talk to each other, users talk to each other, customers talk to each other. Uh, and of course, you have your marketing organization, your social organization to accelerate that process. If you have very happy users, you will have happy customers, and it will be for sales or marketing teams easier to share that story, share that success, because it will also be easier to get success stories out of your user base, out of your customer base. It's a tricky thing to pick between them because they're both equally important. Unless you're filling up the uh, the funnel for your product, then you're not going to get new users in. Unless you're keeping the users, then uh, it means that you're going to have a very leaky bucket and you can acquire as many people as you like. But if you're not actually solving the problem, then they're all just going to disappear. In most cases, it will be much more about re Retention. And retention means uh, optimizing features rather than building new features, for instance. Uh, you don't want to build a Christmas tree of features because in the end that builds a product with a lot of features where not everybody uses everything, you get an unclear UX. If that would be the case, then it would be better to start to start looking at splitting up your product into multiple products where you can have a product with less feature user group and another product for another user group with other features, just to keep it separated and, and an easier easier experience to understand. But still, that is kind of, I think, uh, focused on, on mainly on retention. As a product manager, um, I think retention is super, super important. Um, you have to really understand you know, whether the, the product that you're offering stands up to the expectations of what the customer wants. For us, it's a acquisition at the moment, and that's because uh, we have a uh, uh, very low churn, uh, almost no churn. It seems like we're doing a good enough uh, or a good job uh, there in keeping our customers in, which is why we're mainly focused on, on, on acquisition. I think acquisition is one of those things where it's also broader than kind of just your product management team. There's a lot of other teams involved, um, at least in my experience, when it comes to acquiring new customers. I think that's that's a broader effort that it can also be addressed by the marketing team, the CRM teams, the CLM teams, for example. Whereas I think retention um, falls quite firmly on the shoulders of, uh, of product. That's indeed a dilemma uh, because for the, yeah, of course, the, the current revenue, you have to have a low retention rate of, of your current customers, but you want also to grow. Therefore, you need new customers, new, 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 new signings. But I'm a little bit from the, from the standpoint that if your current customer base is not happy, that will reflect also to new customers because they also ask for uh, for reference. I always try to keep the current customers as satisfied as possible. And if they are satisfied with your product, I believe also new uh, products or new customers will, uh, will join. If I could pick both, that would be my answer.